case of present here. In March this year, Parliament approved a guarantee of $379 million, about 1.4 trillion shillings, for the construction of Lubawa Hospital. Work on the project is being run by an Italian investor. Today, members of Parliament's Committee on National Economy went to the site. They were not allowed entry. The members of Parliament say there is something unsettling about the project. It's our responsibility to monitor. Uh, to monitor and also to ensure that the monies are properly spent. And that's why we are here, but we have now been refused access. So it's really worrying on what is going on. If they know they are genuine, why are they looking? Why are they closing themselves inside? The Health Minister, Dr. Jane Ruther Cheng, and the Permanent Secretary, Dr. Diana Atuine, who arrived shortly after, were also left standing at the gate. Inside were a few laborers, security personnel, a grader and lorries. The minister says she had earlier received a letter from parliament seeking permission to access the site. I was mandated to organize a meeting on site and that is why I organized a meeting on site knowing very well that the committee will come to meet me on site. However, the permanent secretary in the finance ministry, Keith Muhakanizi, had at the beginning of this month informed the deputy speaker that the Luboa site was no longer in the hands of government and nobody can access it at will. The unit, with a 264-bed specialized healthcare capacity, will be operated as a world-class internationally accredited facility to treat conditions for which Ugandans have been traveling abroad. Walter Mwesije, NTV.